Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here, coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we got a little something special for you. As you know, normally I roll solo on these podcasts. Once in a while, I'll have a special uh, guest expert or a client sharing their success stories and uh, how they've gone through uh, trials and tribulations to create breakthrough res results in their life or their business. Today is kind of a unique day because uh, this is actually the second iteration, believe it or not, of our uh, attempt to bring this goodness to you with the one and only Dave Savage. And with a last name like that, you know you can't be going wrong. How's that for a Savage name, right? <laughs> right. And for those of you who don't know, Dave Savage is the founder, CEO of Mortgage Coach. If you're in the US of A and you're not using Mortgage Coach, you're freaking crazy because I'm telling you right now, Mortgage Coach is an absolute game changer for many of my top producing clients who have been looking for an edge to be able to stand up from the pack, uh, not only in communicating and articulating their unique value to realtors, but also with clients, particularly with clients. And so this is a awesome tool. Definitely want to check it out. We'll talk a little bit more about it as we dive in. But uh, today we're going to talk about how to sail to new frontiers of success and preeminence and market domination by becoming the captain of your own wealth team, your own dream team. And instead of just being kind of on the sidelines and hoping and wishing and praying that you can get some influence with some key solid partners, we're going to get you right in the mix and being the leader of a really potently powerful and profitable dream team of referral partners. And that's the topic for today. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to the one and only Dave Savage. Thanks for hanging with us today, brother. This is going to be fun. Yeah, no, it's good to be here. And thanks for uh, having me and broadcasting Mortgage Coach in your, in your channel and your community. Yeah, well, any chance I have the opportunity to bring uh, the one and only Dave Savage to my group, I'm all over it like white on rice, as you know, uh, because like I've said many times before, you know, you are a light in the darkness. Uh, you elevate uh, wherever you go. You elevate. You're like the rising tide that raises all the boats. And you are uh, definitely someone who leads by example. When we talk about building the dream team, when we talk about being in that captain leadership position where you're elevating everyone else around you and everyone's winning because of your influence and leadership, you are absolutely an embodiment of that. And that's one of the reasons why you have such a big following and why uh, you really have a, a huge army of brand ambassadors for Mortgage Coach because you don't just sell software. That's kind of just the ripple effect of your leadership and your influence and the value you, that you bring. But who you are and the essence of you, who you are is someone who's just heart connected and defiantly committed every single day to bringing value in everything you do. And you're just the real deal, man. So I salute you, appreciate you, and I'm excited about doing this. Well, I appreciate that, man. Those are some really nice things to say. And I, I have been doing it a long time. And I, I would just say we have a great team here at Mortgage Coach, you know, the internal team that runs the business. And then we have an amazing community of not just the most successful from a production standpoint, but the, the loan officers that are the most valuable to families. You know, that, that's what I'm most proud about. I don't care whether the loan officer closes one loan a month, 10 loans a month, 300, not 300, but 30 loans a month. Uh, I mean, I, I interview loan officers that close over 10 loans a month because that means they have best practices that others can learn from. But to me, the most important thing is, are you delivering more than rates and fees? Are you going above and beyond the transaction and actually helping the family make the best decision for them to not only get the home and close the loan, but to get the home, close the loan, and build wealth with real estate. That's that's what we do here at Mortgage Coach, and we've got an amazing community. Cool. Well, let's dive in with a little background for the uninitiated, um, because as you just insinuated there, this is not your first rodeo. You've been in the game for quite some time. And for someone who's brand spanking new and is like, man, I don't know what cave they crawled out of, but they don't know who Dave Savage is or Mortgage Coach, maybe you can just uh, catch them up to speed a little bit. How did you get into the mortgage industry? How did you get into, uh, you know, launching this incredibly powerful, innovative software called Mortgage Coach? Well, you know, I 
I got in the mortgage business, God, it's been over 30 years now, but technology has just always been my friend. And probably the first time technology changed, you know, really it didn't just change my life in the mortgage business, it changed my, my life period is, is books on tape. I, I remember getting hired by my, my original mentor, Mel Sanic, and I am dyslexic. I have ADD, you know, I was that kid in grade school that had to take Ritalin. And, right. and all, all the, all the and, teachers and, say, said, you know, you're never going to amount to anything. You're slow. You're oh, behind, yeah. blah, blah, blah. There yeah, you are so, kicking ass, so, taking names and being an industry market changer and leader. Imagine yeah, that. But, <laughs> but when I, when I got hired by Mel and I found out there was a new way to learn, it was listening to books on tape. And I think the first one was Zig Ziglar on goals and then Tommy Hopkins. Yeah, and Jim for the Rohn, first time in my life, Earl Nightingale. Yeah, Jim Rohn, you know, Tom, <laughs> Anthony Robbins. And so that was the first time technology like enabled me in a new way. And then and then when, you know, remember I can't spell, you know, I'm just like so spelling is not my thing. Spell check, CRM. I fell in right? love with technology love that. because it helped love that. it helped me it helped me keep promises. It helped me be able to have a great conversation and then send a letter that is spelled accurately and looks professional and it's efficient and effective. And, and that, that just led to my career and really led to the founding of Mortgage Coach because early on I had, um, or I, I guess where I got my start is I was very successful getting business from CPAs and financial planners to the tune of a couple hundred loans a year that the Savage team would close. And I was one of the only guys in the country that was my main referral partner with CPAs and financial planners where most loan officers would get all their referrals from realtors or builders. And, 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 and I had developed this total cost analysis, which was, was really when I, when I created it, I wanted to be able to tell a family that my advice makes a difference and then not have to tap dance and like, I wanted to just like, my advice makes a difference, see? And show them something that's like, whoa, right. you know, yeah. loan option cost over time, mortgage strategies, all on one page, you know? Mm. And so, I mean, guys, so everybody doesn't know what mortgage coach is. It's, it's, it's just an uncommon level of transparency for the family and an uncommon way to make decisions of making a mortgage, super simple. So whether you're, you're, you're trying to like, should I pay monthly MI or LMI? Should I do FHA versus conventional? We just make it simple and obvious for the consumer with software yeah elegant simple yet very profound and absolutely makes any mortgage professional who's trained in your systems stand up from the pack i have many uber successful top producing clients using it and they rave about it yeah now we have uh i am proud to say today that 34 percent of loan officers here in the states that close over 100 loans a year use mortgage comes so we, That's awesome. we have every Every loan officer in America in our database, so we know how much how many loans they do, and the ones that close a lot of loans, thirty four percent is mortgage debt. So it's a there it is. is a very special community. Yeah, the proof is in the pudding. So get with the times, guys. If you're not using it, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, so you started you know using that and obviously you know we, you've come a long way from when you first launched mortgage coach it was the you know the first iteration 1.0 is uh obviously a far cry from where you're at now i don't know if you're at 3.0 10.0 or what but you've come a heck of a lot uh, a long way um tell us about kind of how things have evolved a little bit from you being a loan officer just doing this for your own mortgage business to now wanting to uh, really be a crusader to serve mortgage, mortgage professionals with this tool to help them expand their business and differentiate themselves from the pack, but also to help the end borrowers, the families make smart decisions with their finances. Tell us a little bit about uh, the journey of evolution over the last couple of decades. Well, probably the two most pivotal changes in the platform is that, you know, how how families, how human beings do life has changed. You know, today, everybody has an Amazon app on their phone. Everybody has a big bank app on their phone. Everybody has Netflix or some you know, Hulu channel on their phone. And, and, and most people have a home search app, you know, Zillow, Redfin on their phone. And so just how people do life, it's, it's multi-device. And so 
the fact that when it comes to getting your mortgage options, we, you know, we're, we're advice or device first. So if it's an Apple device, it's an Apple experience. If it's an Android, it's an Android. If it's a desktop, mm. it's a desktop. If it's a, it's a, if it's a, a um, tablet, it's a tablet. So that was, that was different. And, and, and so making mortgage options and decision-making a multi-channel, multi-device experience, that, that was big. And we, you know, we definitely are the leaders not just in the mortgage space, but I would say in all industries that serve financial services, there is not a better de decision-making tool than mortgage coach in mortgage, financial planning, insurance, real estate, anything that helps a family build wealth, we are the leaders in, in decision-making for families. So that was big. And then, and then I think, you know, video is not, I think, it is the way people do life now. We we learn on YouTube. We, you know, the, YouTube I think is what the number two search engine in America or no in the world. And and so video is just a great way to communicate. It's a great way to entertain. It's a great way to market, engage. And we make it super simple for a loan officer to give options on any device and then stream not entertaining videos, but but videos that give advice to a family so that a family that's looking to make a mortgage decision has that that technology. So those are those are probably the two biggest tech things that mm -hmm. we've done. And then and then probably the biggest change thing that we've done is we've I, I consider my job at Mortgage Coach and one of my three most important jobs is to interview top producers using video, using Zoom, pushing it into Facebook Live, pushing it into our YouTube channel. And, and just interviewing top producers of what they're doing and what they're doing right and what their best practices are and, and creating content around that. So every week we're pushing new, new interviews with new top producers through social media. So those are like three big things that we've done that I think are, you know, not disruptive, but driving change in the mortgage space. I think a big driving pulse at the heartbeat of what you've been doing all along is being an advocate for the end consumer through education-based marketing, not just by touting how great you are and how great your pricing is or whatever it might be, your products, your service, your benefits, your features, but more importantly, proving that you're worthy of their trust by being an advocate and helping them make sound decisions and helping them bring value into their life more effectively, more efficiently, avoiding costly mistakes and getting to specific outcomes that are meaningful and important to them by educating them. That's a, you know the golden thread that I see woven in your entire career is education-based preeminent approach where you're elevating people through sound advice and education and then empowering the loan officer to do likewise, which is a huge differentiator if it's done right. And so now we're talking about this theme of sailing to new frontiers of success and preeminence and market domination by being the captain of your own wealth team. I think that's a, a perfect launching pad into this concept because, you know, we've heard of the B and I's of the world, the networking events where you're just another Joe Schmo and they're basically just filling a spot and you don't necessarily have to be the, the top gun in your market to qualify for these groups. It's like, you know, and when anyone with a pulse could fog a mirror, who's got a decent personality is worth willing to drop down uh, 500 bucks a year or 800 bucks a year or whatever it is and show up every Monday at 7 a.m. to eat powdered eggs can basically qualify. And that's what most people think of when they think of networking. We're talking about a quantum leap elevation in your strategic play when it comes to working with the right partners to be able to get the most amount of business and to be able to do it with the least amount of time. So tell us about why bother for someone who's kind of skeptical and they're like, oh man, I'm not down with networking. We got Instagram, we got Facebook, we got you know, our database of referrals and repeat. I don't have time for that. I don't want to bother with that. Why should someone even bother to consider having a cherry picked dream team of rock stars in each respective category of the wealth team? Why bother with the wealth team and being the captain of it? Well, I mean, I'm going to answer it from two different ways. So one, 
if you are on this call and you're a referral based purchase first loan officer, I think it's your your future relies on it. Now I think you know the modern approach is I'm referral based, I purchase first, but then I also have consumer direct strategies. And which by the way, I think makes perfect sense. And I think that that's part of the model of the modern mortgage professional. But I would say if that is who you are, the loan officers that decide I want to be the captain of the wealth team will win the biggest, they'll win the most and win the fastest. And, there, and there's two reasons. One of them is from a lead perspective, like there's lead opportunities. And the other part of it is there's a conversion opportunity. So what I, what I teach loan officers all the time is that the best teacher wins. And, and I, I also think we're at this point now in, you know, where there's digital disruption taking place, there's a convergence of financial industries coming. As a mortgage professional, we're better lead aggregators than real estate agents. We have more information on the family than financial planners, life insurance agents, and CPAs. We've got both assets and liabilities. And, and, and here's the deal, like a couple of years ago, we did we were behind financial services from a technology perspective. That's no longer the case. Between the digital technology that is coming at the point of sale, it's we're best of class. We have better point of sale tech than most other financial services. And with mortgage coach, the ability to deliver advice, I can tell you right now, because I get inquiries, not daily, but weekly, financial planners would love it. CPAs would love it. Life insurance would love it. So you got, as a mortgage professional, a better tech stack. You've got more information on the consumer. You are not only competing with other loan offers, the, the best loan officers in America are going to deliver the best financial advice experience a family has ever had. Mm-hmm. And, and like in our community, our loan officers do that. You know, so, so part of why you want to be the captain of the wealth team is because you want to deliver an advice experience at the point of sale that that customer will never forget. We call it star moment. Something they'll never forget. Mm, star I moment. Like that. I so, like that. So, so, and, and I'm not talking about adding, turning 15 minute apps into one hour apps. I'm not talking about adding more than three to five minutes to the conversation. And by the way, that depends on how effective your conversation is. But I mean, first of all, this is something that the best loan officers already do. The best loan officers in America, and someone says, what's your rate? You know, they have different transitions, but they take it into, well, I need to know a little bit more about your situation. On any given day, I have 20 different rates. And based off of, you know, your income, your credit, your loan to value, you're going to have 20 different rate options to get the right. You know, the most important thing is giving you the right program. So and and then they get into conversations about what is your how much money do you have in savings? They get into conversations around what your consumer debt look like. Get, they they teach families that the most important thing a lender can do is look at the total cost of the debt over time. Most loan officers just give you monthly payment, cash to close, and interest rate. Mm-hmm. A mortgage coach shows you the cost of all your debt over, let's just say, five years and 15 years. And, and so if you have that conversation, that captain of the wealth team conversation at the point of sale, you will have a higher conversion dramatically higher conversion. You will have less price exceptions. So so guys, that's one reason. And then and then the other reason is that you will be able to generate referrals for CPAs, financial planners, and real real and that's a tough one, right? Realtors. Roll up the re- the roll up yeah. the rim to win. That's the, the rolling yeah. R on that one. <laughs> yeah. So 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 if you can create leads for them, they'll get leads for you. And, and then you have more sources of business. And I do acknowledge the fact that the realtor is the cap, is the you know alpha referral partner. But just imagine if you have CPAs, financial planners, uh, life insurance agents referring you business that you can then bring your realtors, you have you have more leads and you also have more power with your realtor. So so the reasons better conversion, more leads, and more power with your real estate agents. That's why you want to be the captain of the wealth team. Yeah, 100%. Another thing that 
to me just makes no brainer sense in terms of, you know, the reason why to do this is like I said before, you can just be another cog in the wheel at a BNI or a networking group. You can pony up your 500 to a G note uh, per year, plus travel expenses, plus food and all the rest, and just be another cog in the wheel and just basically be, uh, you know, someone who shows up to the meetings and tries to send referrals. Or you can be the leader of your own cherry pick team where you got the cream of the crop, not just the C players and the B players and who else you have to settle for, but have the A plus players, players that are cherry picked, easy for me to say, cherry picked, it's been a long week, cherry picked uh, by you personally, you have the right synergy, the right chemistry, the right connection, uh, you, you know, based on the uh, blue fishing book, Steve Sims book, uh, there's a great line called the chunk test, they've passed the chunk test, in other words, you can swale a bevy with them and you have that friendship connection. So now you're spending your time with friends who are rock stars, who have the most clout, the most influence, the biggest database, the highest potential to send you the most amount of referrals, the most often. You're having a ton of fun. You're meeting on the schedule you want. You're the leader. You teach them how what you do with Mortgage Coach helps the client, helps them, makes them look good, makes the client uh, more educated and gets them to a better outcome. And so now they're more inspired to send you even more referrals because of your differentiation. But then you can layer a whole other, you know, gamut of strategies on top of that, which is like showing your partners, your dream team partners, your wealth par team partners, how to get more leads, more clients, more referrals, more repeat business, how to make more money and less time, energy and effort. So tell us about that. Like, what are some strategies that you uh, have seen worked inside of a, a dream team when you're the captain of it that can really help to add massive value to your partners and by virtue of that through the law of reciprocity bring an avalanche of referrals back to the mortgage professional yeah so so first i want to say i i mean there's nothing wrong with being a bni la tip whatever those so it's not like i'm proposing an idea that's competing with that i mean those are those are channels and tactics to have you know local business relationships so but if you had to choose between one or the other, if you had to choose between one or the other, hands but down, I, but this I, one blows yeah, the other I, ones out of the water as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, I mean, this is a, you know, to me, there's the high arching strategy and then there are tactics and B and I is a tactic. And I know people that kill it with that and they'll do it for life and they love it. And these are their friends and it's great. And keep doing that. And I know people that jump in and fail at it all the time. So, you know, I'm, I'm saying... But the big picture is you are you see yourself as more than a loan officer. I am a mortgage advisor. And, and I and then you see yourself as a leader. I'm the captain of the wealth team. And and you're you 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 see yourself as more than a loan officer that can do a loan transaction. You see yourself as someone, I'm gonna help you pick smart mortgage programs that help you build wealth with real estate. And that's not just a saying, that's like you 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 have the skills to do that. We have a, what we a mortgage coach. We turn loan officers into a black belt mortgage advice, and we it's built into our software. So if you want to become a black belt in a mortgage advice, sign up for mortgage coach, and it, just using our product, and going through our training, you know we we gamified it. So you get badges along the way. You go from white belt to orange belt to blue belt to purple belt to brown belt it. to black belt. And, and if you if you have the skills and you've done a thousand TCAs, you're a red belt. We call that a mortgage coach grandmaster. So so you know, first of all, let's just get clear. It's those are tactics, but like here's here's some things. So first of all, when you meet the family, uh, you know, first of all, start declaring that I'm more than a loan officer. So like, what is your value prop? We teach loan officers all the time to say something to the effect that I am, you know, dedicated to helping you pick smart. Mortgage decisions that help you build wealth with real estate. So you, whatever your words are, you know, but have a value prop that goes beyond the transaction and builds wealth. And then, and then you need to tactically do things like show the cost over time. Like, hey, what if you took this loan versus this loan and you prepaid your mortgage? How much interest would you save? And how much faster would you become debt free? Those are tactics. You know, those are mm -hmm. financial planning tactics. And then, and then you need to also start asking clients, 
hey, do you have a CPA? Do you have a financial planner? You know, who is your there favorite financial advisor? There's so, the tie-in. So, yeah, so there's a conversation. And, and for every family, you're looking. It, by the way, it doesn't mean every family you talk to, you're like, okay, I'm going to find the CPA, your financial planner. and Because that's not real. That's not realistic. But it's, right. it becomes this conversation. And then you, you, yeah, are you trying to identify who are the most successful and cool? And to me, cool means, I guess it's Steve Sims, you know, chug test. You know, people that are not energy vampires that you want to get to know. Um, I would I would make it a goal that every mortgage professional that wants to kill it should have multiple CPAs, multiple financial planners, multiple life insurance agents, you know, multiple different types of attorneys, ranging from trust attorneys to bankruptcy attorneys to divorce attorneys that you you network with, you're strategic with, and and you're smart because, like I said. It will improve your conversion, it'll improve your leads, and it will improve your authority and power with the alpha referral partner, the realtor. So those are some thoughts. So how often, let's say someone wants to do this, they're like, yeah, I get it. It makes sense to be the leader of my own group, to cherry pick the best of the best in my dream team, and to have uh, rock stars that I feel great about referring to my clients and vice versa. So they're chomping at the bit to get this thing rocking. What are some of the steps in getting this thing going in terms of the launch of the group as well as the ongoing cultivation of it? Yeah, so some free resources for you guys to check out. One, I've done a number of interviews with loan officers that have built their business on this strategy. You go to our YouTube channel, we have a playlist called Financial Advisors. Uh, you know, uh, you could, if you want me to recommend a specific one, you could go to our Facebook group. Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind. You can either do a search, financial advisors, or you could ask a question, and that would be free. Uh, you know, I did a, I wrote a book ten plus years ago. I mean, book is overstating. It's a like an ebook. It's a, called. A it's called. It's yeah. It's called. It's called the Art <laughs> of Referral. You guys okay. can Google it. Art of Referral, and Doran, I can send you a copy. And, and it was it was my story, you know, where I really broke down everything from how to get meetings with CPAs and financial planners, how I showed up in those meetings, once they told me that they refer business to me, what were my practices. So that's a free, you know, Google it, on referral by Dave Savage, and that would be free. Um, of course, you could become a member of Mortgage Coach, and 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 we teach. I mean, this is part of becoming a mortgage coach: is we delivering advice over price, and two, teaching you the skills and tactics to be the captain of the wealth team. So those are some ideas. Brilliant. So if you guys haven't joined uh, the Facebook group, you definitely want to check that out. Uh, give us the Facebook group and the YouTube channel one more time, Dave, just to make sure everyone's got it. Yeah. So. Mortgage Coach is Mortgage Coach on YouTube. Go to Mortgage Coach. We've got a channel by that name. And in Facebook, it's called Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind. So we have a couple groups. The one that's most active, that's got almost 9,000 members, that's very active with top producers is Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind. Yeah, it's a great group. I'm in there. Tons of engagement, amazing quality, uh, progressive mortgage professionals chiming in with knowledge bombs knowledge bombs all day every day that's a really 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 potently awesome group so definitely recommend checking that out guys and uh anything else in terms of how someone can get a hold of you guys if they're wanting to uh get started with mortgage coach uh, i'm assuming they just go to mortgagecoach.com yeah so mortgagecoach.com request a demo i i stay really close so i would be great if there was someone from your community that wanted to sign up you can email me at david mortgage coach and i'll loop you in with our sales team and make sure if we do have any any incentives going or any specials that you get the best deal so anyone referred by doran through this channel um you know let us know email me at dave at mortgage coach or you know submit your inquiries through our our website mortgagecoach.com i love it thanks in advance for the sweet deals brother and so yeah. guys don't forget Dave at mortgagecoach.com is the hookup for the sweetest deals available at the time of inquiry. Dave at mortgagecoach.com. If you don't know, now you know. So as we wrap up this interview, Dave, I know we're just scratching the surface of the surface of 
the, uh, you know, the awesomeness that we could be diving into inside of this topic. But for the sake of brevity, uh, due to the fact we don't have a ton of time to cover it, what are uh, maybe a few top one, two or three things you'd like our audience to marinate their mind on as we wrap up this session today? Well, you know, we are, at least if you're in America, you're in the States, there's a refi tidal wave coming through. Yes. So I'll give, you, I'll give you two ideas that literally will generate more revenue for you. Like, come on. Uh, so I did a site visit, or I facilitated a site visit with Jeremy Forcier, who's a $130 million a year producer here in the States. It's super iconic. And you just learn a lot following this guy. And everybody in the site visit had paid $5,000 to be there. So it was very premium all day site visit with a debtor. And, and we got so many takeaways, but he shared this one idea and I actually videotaped it. It's in our YouTube channel and our Facebook group. It's only five minutes and 20, tw five minutes and 25 seconds. And here's the idea, guys. So Jeremy, he's a, you know, he's a core coach. He's, you know, tracks every lead that he gives, generates a hundred leads a month minimum. Uh, last month he was a site busy, he done like 180 leads and he tracks every source. He tracks the conversion and his number one conversion lead source were leads that are coming from his current client database. So, wow. so not the, not the first time you've heard like, oh, get clients your active, active deals. But here was the nuance, dude. Here was the new idea for you didn't hear that? Yeah, I, and I, I was accurate in that part of my rendition when I was trying to fill in the gap for you. Okay, and then and then there he's emailing back. We we love helping you. That think of that as the the um, subject line. And then it's can you help me with something? Question mark space. My goal this year is to work with more people I like. Capitalize like at least that's what Jeremy's doing space can you introduce me to two people i should know and i can help in the future period and and he's getting referrals because again it's a ninja move they're like hey thanks jeremy right appreciation gratitude they're showing gratitude and he's like i love helping you can you help me and and guys in today's market it's raining loans so here's the deal guys by the 20th of last month, and this is before the refi market just went crazy, he had he had nine leads or no, eight leads and four loans. He he figures that this is going to be an extra 60 loans. Now, again, this is a monster producer that's doing 300 loans a year, but but so he's got a big pipe. So for him, he's like, this new strategy is going to be an extra 50 to 60 loans a year for me. Every loan off America could get one extra loan from this. If you just learn to take that thank you and be strategic about it. So so here's the deal, guys. If you, you've ever been doing Chick-fil-A, and I don't think they have those up in Canada, but down here in the States, Chick-fil-A is kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they train their staff to strategically answer thank you a very specific way. So if you ever go to a Chick-fil-A and you say thank you for something, they are trained to say, that's my pleasure. Or it's my pleasure, I think. As say. opposed to no problem. Yeah, or just whatever. No problem. Okay. You're my welcome. pleasure just sounds so much more five-star than yeah. no problem, right? So, yeah. So here's what I want you guys to do. Train yourself. Train your team. If you're a branch manager, think about this. Branch managers, if you train your team that when a family says thank you while in process, you had a strategic way of answering that and asking for a referral and for every one of your loan officers at one extra loan a month and for your ballers it means three to five extra loans a month guys this is a game changing idea and a great referral source and it's so simple i mean it's just a simple little free prize so it's a little off topic it's not mm -hmm. necessarily captain of the wealth team but we're in a refi wave and, and what do we need we need we, we, we don't necessarily need more leads we need like the Glenn Gary Glenn Ross leads. We need the bomb, bomb leads. The bomb leads. leads for, bomb leads from your past customer database. Go get it. There's and, an idea. And 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 I I would submit that it is actually perfectly relevant to the captain of your own well team because when you start leading by example, doing this yourself, and you start seeing the avalanche 
of referrals that come in from doing this yourself, naturally, you're going to want to share it with your dream team. Show them how to get referrals the same way, right? But you got to lead by example. Ooh, I like right? that. I, so now we got a lunch and learn topic for, and by the way, this is great for realtors. This is great for CPAs. This is great for financial planners. Be the one that leads by example and be the ones that plays this forward. And hopefully, you know, you'll reach out and you join the mortgage coach team. Absolutely. You'll make more money, close yeah. more loans and have more fun. Hey, if you have two ounces of ambition and you're tired of just being seen as another Joe Schmo LO, you got to be knowing Mortgage Coach is the no brainer of the freaking year. So hop on it if you haven't done so already. And I just want to add that before we wrap up, I think one of the reasons why Jeremy is crushing it with this strategy so early in his adoption of it is because his beliefs are aligned. Right. He believes in the difference he makes using mortgage coach and empowering families to make smart financial decisions. He believes in his commitment to provide first class service and his kick ass team that, you know, is doing excellence for excellence sake. And everyone's animated with the same spirit of really bringing a world class experience to the client and empowering them to make the best decisions and to give them a phenomenal five star experience. And so because he's aligned with uh, his beliefs, with the fact that he knows he makes a real impact in these people's lives. Now, when he goes to ask for referrals, he's not feeling like a sleaze bag. He's not feeling selfish. He's not feeling like he's got commission breath halitosis. He's feeling like, man, I'd be remiss not to ask for the referral. I'd be remiss not to ask who else in your world can I help because his beliefs are aligned. The reason why the strategy works is because his beliefs are aligned with service and contribution and impact and being benevolent in this world by elevating everyone he touches. And so you guys need to have that belief structure, that belief system first. And then you layer that uh, that foundation with the strategy and you're about to go stratospheric, y'all. You're about to launch your business into orbit and beyond. So make sure you guys don't just, you know, throw new tires on an old beater vehicle make sure you elevate your vehicle called your mindset get that ferrari mindset and now you can add these you know fancy new tires and whiz bang strategies and tactics on top of it and you're just going to be able to maximize the leverage and the profitability of them so much more so dave it's been a pleasure brother always always a pleasure always a pleasure bro appreciate you Thanks for uh, bringing Mortgage Coach into your community. Thank you for the call we did um, earlier this week and the value you brought to Mortgage Coach, bro. Appreciate you. Hey, and I right uh, got you. Take care, everybody. Have an awesome weekend. All right, bye. Everyone, we've been with uh, the one and only Dave Savage. We've been talking about how to sail to new frontiers of success, preeminence, and market domination by becoming the captain of your own wealth team, dream team. Thanks for hanging with us. This is Dorn Aldana. And this is the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Thanks for hanging with me. Be blessed. Keep being awesome. Go forth. Take massive action. Bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you're going to get massive results. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for hanging with us. Peace.